Welcome to our video series introducing Google Analytics. In this video, we'll introduce you to the dashboard and how to use it. Okay, here's our first look at the View Reports screen for this particular profile for demonstrationdomain.com. And by default, it takes you to the dashboard, which is the front or summary screen in a sense. As you can see, and not surprisingly, there's very little going on at the moment. There are no visits, site usage, no visits, no page views, and everything else is zero, which of course makes sense because we haven't received any data. And no one would have been to the site anyway because it's just a demonstration site and there haven't actually been any pages there. Anyway, as you can see with this dashboard area, it presents a lot of a, a very useful summary for a lot of the most relevant figures for your website. And actually, since showing you such a site with no traffic is not a good example, I'll bring up another site of mine which has a lot of history associated with it, so we can see what we're talking about more clearly. Okay, here's the analytics account for some of the live sites of mine, and I've actually brought up the details for one particular site's profile. And here's the dashboard, as you can see. Obviously, it's giving us much more information, and it's more helpful seeing this than just a screen full of zeros. First of all, this mountain image at the top is just telling you, or rather showing you, on a day-to-day -day basis, the number of visits the site had. And you can change the period you can see here. If I click this, this calendar appears and I can enter different dates to zoom in or even zoom out on different periods. And if you want to get rid of this without changes, just click here again. Then, if you don't want to see just visits, if you click here, you can choose what you want to see. For example, if you go to Page Views, the graph instantly changes to give us different numbers. It's showing us page views now. Really, this information is just a convenient way to give you a quick summary on a day-to-day -day basis of what you wish to see. But your page view data and visit information is also here as a summary. And actually, you start getting a lot more in-depth as you start going through the options here on the left. But let's go back to Visits. Okay, and when you do this, pay attention to the numbers on the sides, because even though the graph appears to have more information, because even though the peaks and valleys are more pronounced than for page views, the numbers are higher for page views. So pay attention to the numbers on the left and the right. As you can see here, the peak here is about 30 visits per day for this particular site. And if we go back to page views, you see that even though at a glance it looks as if the numbers are lower, they're actually higher by looking at the scale. The peak here was actually 112 page views on that particular day. Okay, I've gone back to visits, and what you can do is just hold your mouse over it, and it tells you how many visits or how many pages or whatever it is that you wish to know on that particular day. Just a useful quick summary. You don't need to click or anything, just hold your mouse over it, and you get this little pop-up. And you see that this is really beneficial because you start seeing how your web traffic really works. Instead of what you think is going on on your website, instead of guesswork, you see exactly what's going on. You see the slow days, you see the good days, as we really dive into this, you see where they're coming from, and if you're tracking conversions, you'll see which sources are good for traffic, which sources aren't so good or profitable, and so on. Okay, so now here, if we go to Site Usage, you see a quick summary for the time period. So for the time period I selected, 
I had 584 visits, just over 1,200 page views, which averages out at 2.13 pages per visit, as you see. A bounce rate, that's the rate of people who visit the site and immediately press the back button. So that's quite a high bounce rate, almost 60% bounce rate. Average time on site, just under three minutes. And the percentage of new visits during that period, just under 73%. Then there's more information, more summaries. Visitors overview. That's basically what we've already seen, but it's showing it again here. Then map overlay. You can see where you're getting your visitors. And view report for more in-depth information on that. So everything so far is really important fundamentals. But the really interesting information starts appearing here. Traffic Sources Overview. Where is your traffic coming from? This breaks it down into three sources or categories. Referring sites, search engines, and direct traffic. Direct traffic is when people appear on your site and they don't appear to have come from anywhere. For example, if they click on a link in an email, that would appear as direct traffic because they haven't come from another website. They've come to you through an email. If they come to your site through a bookmark, that would be direct traffic. But if they type it in in the address bar of the browser, that too would be direct traffic. Direct traffic is basically a visitor that comes directly, and it's a visitor that Analytics does not know where it comes from. It can't match the visitor to any past site. Whereas, as you can see, the other categories, referring sites, these are visitors who came to your site by basically clicking a link on another site. Let's say, for example, that Microsoft.com had a link to Yahoo.com. And if the person visiting Microsoft.com clicked on the link to Yahoo.com, they would be visiting Yahoo and would have been referred by Microsoft.com. So here, you can see that almost 50% of visitors are coming from referring sites. 18% are direct traffic, and the rest, about a third of the visitors, are coming from the search engines. Finally, in the summary, there's Content Overview. It gives you a quick summary of what people are visiting, so which pages. Now, forward slash means the root, basically the top of your domain. For example, Yahoo.com is the root of the Yahoo.com website. It's not a subpage or in a subfolder. It's the root. And that's what this forward slash means. And generally, most people will visit the front page or the root of the site. So page views for the root of the site, 344, or 27.7%, or effectively 28% of all page views. Then it lists the others in descending order. As you can see, 68 page views, then 61 page views, 45 page views, and so on. So that's the summary page, and as you can see, it presents very useful information, and it's really great to become familiar with it before you start diving into the nitty-gritty of analytics. And actually, one last thing. Because this site I'm showing is one I'm presenting as a demonstration, I should explain that it's just a content site. It's just offering content and isn't selling anything to visitors. So what I'll quickly do as a final example is show you the front page of a site that is an e-commerce site that's selling something. Okay, here's the dashboard for another site. First, we're looking at visits, and you can see that they've actually been growing quite considerably and quite steadily for the last month or so to a peak of 52 for that day. Then site usage, total visits 836, page views over 1100 for 1.37 pages per visit, and an even higher bounce rate. 
This site's quite different. It's not a content site. So the other site had more useful content that would encourage visitors to stick around. This is a site that basically sells. So when people come to the site, they either buy or leave. That's really the entire concept. So the bounce rate is naturally a lot higher. So they don't stick around if they aren't interested. So bounce rate of 81% effectively. Average time on the site of 1 minute 42 seconds. 82% new visits. Visitors overview again. And map overlay. Then if we scroll down, traffic sources overview. And here, direct traffic is quite small, just 8.85%. And there's no search engine traffic for this site, just referring sites. So 91.5% of the visitors come from referring sites. Then there's content overview, the most popular pages in descending order. And this is what I really wanted to show you, the goals overview. It gives you an overview of how many conversions you have for each day. So on this particular day, I had one conversion. On this site, I'm tracking a sale. So there was one sale there, and no sales there, one sale there, one there, sale, 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 two sales, one sale, no sales, two sales, and okay, you can see how that works. The goals overview is really important. Once you've set up what you want to track, it shows you graphically how well your site is being converted on a daily basis for the goals you have in mind. As I mentioned, you can track different goals. For example, instead of sales, you could track email opt-ins or leads. Maybe you just want to collect names and addresses. They don't need to buy anything, just leave their name and address. So that could be the goal that you're tracking. And of course, if they're just entering their name and address rather than buying something, your conversion rate is going to be a lot higher because there's a much lower barrier. They don't have to spend any money, they just have to enter some details. You can really start diving into this in a lot more depth once we go into viewing a report and so on. Then we'll be able to see exactly what's going on with this site at almost every level. So that's an overview of the summary reporting screen of Google Analytics and how to read it and the important terminology and points you need to be aware of.